Yo, welcome back to the channel, Be Quanchi here, back at again to do another tier maker uh, list video, this time about pizza toppings. Before we get started, I always like to say the best way to support me in the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like me on like YouTube, follow on X, Twitter, and on Twitch, which are more gaming streams and this playlist and all that for the like, Let's Plays and also uh, old tier maker videos too. Um, a lot of them are kind of food related and gaming related, so that I think this is a lot about me. But what I do, uh, uh, one for pizza toppings, as the title of the video says, I did make this tier maker myself. Um, there'll be a link for it. I kind of like to have it a little bit more organized and you can kind of read, especially just seeing it um, on my screen. Uh, I'm not sure how well it looks like on the capture with the words, but I get a good idea what the ingredients are supposed to be. And with this, it's going to be very standard with pizza toppings. I am excluding like uh, stuff that's kind of a given, like I'm not including pizza sauce or cheese or condiments like pepper flakes or uh, Parmesan cheese or hot sauce. So um, kind of more of the typical toppings, like if you uh, build a pizza, um, these are the toppings you choose for it. So yeah, and we're going to, I have going to organize more with meats first and then veggies and others um, afterwards. So let's get started with uh, pepperoni. I'm giving an A. It's a classic. Who doesn't love a good pepperoni pizza? I like how some places have like a heavy on the pepperoni. It's like a specialty pizza and all that. Um, can't go wrong. I I know that you can always buy pepperoni for like uh, a deli section for like sandwiches or stuff like that. Usually I have it on pizza. Sometimes if I have extra, um, I'll just eat it with cheese. But it's a good meat for a pizza. It's a classic. You can't go wrong with pepperoni. Then next we have Italian sausage, which also deserves the A spot. I really like it a lot, especially if you have one that has a little bit of spice to it. Um, and the classic one, I feel like these two are the most standards of meats and all that when it comes to pizza toppings. So yeah, definitely deserves the top spot for uh, Italian sausage. Next ham, and I'm cleaning this as like Canadian bacon or chopped ham or whatever. It's a good, it's a classic, but I can't put everything in A, uh, even though I like pizza and all these uh, toppings, but that's definitely going to change as you get through it. Uh, but I'm going to give ham a B. A good topping, I feel like I would rarely get, if I were getting one topping, I would almost never have ham as the only topping, but it's good paired with other stuff too. Um, but yeah, that's a good uh, choice. Next we have chicken. I have to give that an A as well. I love chicken and you can get some really good pizzas. I think some specialty pizzas like you can have chicken barbecue, chicken alfredo, chicken parmesan I've even seen, or chicken pesto. I like a good chicken pesto. That's a really good pizza too. So I think chicken, uh, just because it's very, um, I guess you could say versatile or whatever. We could have a lot of unique stuff. It's, like pepperoni and Italian sausage usually kind of have the spiciness to it. Not like too much, but they have like their own like set flavor with them for the chicken. You can have it with um, barbecue ranch or um, all that. Um, so yeah, the chicken is definitely a really good one. And then we have bacon. And this is going to be my controversial choice for this video because it is bacon. We love bacon. Bacon is the best, but... I don't think it makes the best pizza topping and I'm going to give it a C. I feel like with bacon it's usually you know finely chopped and sometimes it can get a little bit too crispy over baked and it feels like it just like you know bacon is just a little bit of meat in terms of eats a little bit at least like dump a whole bunch of bacon because I placing it here based off I would probably never get bacon by itself um, as a pizza topping like if it's a meat, like a three meat special or five meat meat lovers, I love to see bacon on that. But if I'm saying, what if I if I had to pay for the, each uh, topping, uh, I'd rather pay for something else than bacon. It is really good, which I feel bad for not ranking it higher. But I think in comparison to other meats on the pizza, especially with bacon being kind of like little bits of meat, little tiny, teeny, tiny bits of meat, that's why it doesn't get uh, ranked higher. And then we have beef. Um, this kind of gets confusing sometimes when you look at like pizza menus. It's I think it's almost the same as Italian sausage, but not spicy. 
but they kind of blend together. Um, but I'm going to give it B. I think sometimes it makes a good mix for Italian sausage, but I think I like the flavor of Italian sausage more. It's actually funny when I was building this tier maker, this is based off the Beyond Beef, uh, uh, one of the chains, uh, all that. So I do really like beef, but I think if I I'm, if I had a choice, I would always go towards Italian sausage. But it is good if you don't want something that has that little spiciness to it and all that. Next, we have salami, which I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me know if you ever heard of putting salami on pizza, because I feel like it's not a popular one, uh, but it is out there. It is actually one of my favorite cold cuts. Like I love having salami um, and cheese sandwich or uh, Italian sandwich. It has a lot of salami on it or just eating salami plain with a little bit of cheese um, on a cracker or not like a sans cracker. But I'm going to give salami a C because I feel like it doesn't make a good pizza topping because I feel like every time I have it on pizza, one bite and I'm taking a whole slice of salami with me. Uh, versus the pepperoni, I think maybe be, I'm not sure if like salami is different when it's baked or cooked, um, or or if it's because pepperoni is uh, smaller. I'm not sure. But like with the, and, you know, a sandwich, like you holding it from top to bottom, typically from both sides versus a pizza, you're just holding the crust or the bottom of the pizza. So I even though I love the lunch meat, it's one of my favorite lunch meats. But I think it doesn't make that great of a pizza topping. Maybe you have to try it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I do recommend you know, at least trying it once if you ever, if you like salami never had it on pizza. It is still really good, but I just feel uh, it just doesn't make, uh, I think, with its physical like attributes, I don't know, the physical stats, it doesn't top well. <laughs> and then next we have... Uh, the non-meats uh, for most of these and pineapple and i know this is like the meme on the internet to complain about like pineapple on pizza and stuff like that i'm a pineapple on pizza guy but i'll give it a b i do like a good hawaiian but also what's really good is get pepperoni and pineapple that makes a good combination too um maybe even like chicken like doing like a hula um version i think if take a chance and not always pair with pineapple. I think that's always a classic to do Hawaiian ham and pineapple or Canadian bacon, whatever you want to call your ham. Um, yeah, I like it. It's one of those, well, not to give too much away, but it's one of my more favorite uh, non-meat toppings to put on the pizza. Next, we have mushroom. And I hate mushrooms. That goes at the very bottom. Um, I don't like them. I, if it's like a combination uh, pizza, like at a party or... Um, work thing or something like that if it's free pizza and it's combination i'm gonna pick those mushrooms off so i really don't like them <laughs> um but apparently a lot of people do but i'm not one of them and olives that get the same treatment as well uh, the only thing i would say is that i would eat olives because i feel like those are a little bit more of a pain to pick off because it's smaller and a lot of times they can be chopped up or whatever so um uh, I don't know, just kind of have a, like a weird texture, but I think on pizza, it's not too bad. But I would never want mushrooms and olives. If I'm choosing the toppings, I would never ever choose those. I will I'll definitely pick mushrooms off, but I'll be maybe too lazy to do that with olives. So not the absolutely worst, but definitely yeah, for me. And next, uh, onions. Hmm. I'm going to give onions a C. I, I do like onions a lot. Um, I think it just does like it's a bit of a combination and stuff like that. So I think it's <laughs> I can't imagine like has anyone ever ordered a plain pizza with just onions? I don't think anyone's doing that. But I do like the combination of having like um, onions and other meats and stuff like that too, especially pizzas. So I don't do it too often, but I do like onions and all that. So that definitely I belongs in C. And then bell peppers. I'll give that a C as well. I think usually you see the green ones. I think it doesn't matter too much what bell peppers you get. Um, I think they don't really add too much flavor, but I do add like texture. And again, I'm not, I don't know too much about cooking and ingredients and all that. So it's one of those ones that like, I feel like when you get to these ones, you like rarely get, um, 
um, as a, as a topping themselves. And usually it's, if it's part of like a specialty pizza, um, that they have like the set ingredients, like combinations and stuff like that. So it's not too bad, but, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely in the middle for me. And next we have banana peppers, which I never hear about doing banana peppers on pizza. Usually uh, you see them on the side. Um, I think Papa John's does that where you get like, uh, bell peppers on the side and I'm going to give that a D because I wouldn't like say no to it if it was on a pizza, but I wouldn't put it on a pizza myself. So I wouldn't even make the effort. And same thing with jalapeno peppers. Um, I usually, uh, used to thought, think like jalapeno peppers were like extremely spicy and all that. And I think depending where you get it from, they can have a good kick to them. Sometimes you'll, I think, yeah, I think they would definitely be more spicier than your typical pepper when, when comparing to like a banana and bell peppers. But when I don't really get much of a pot pizza topping, it's like if it's on there, I'll eat it. But I probably would never order it for myself. Um, not the worst, but it's OK. And then we got tomatoes. And, and then this is on top of like uh, tomato sauce and stuff like that. But is it like margarita or margarite or whatever you call that style of pizza? I'm going to give it a D. Because it's again, it's one of those types of uh, pizza toppings that I would never order. Um, I think like if it's diced up in like a specialty pizza, like if it's a, like a chicken um, uh, pizza with like onions and pale peppers and a little bit of tomatoes. But I think if it's diced, it's not too bad. I think the whole slices is kind of weird for me, even though I know a lot of people love that. And I see that as well as the style of pizza. So I don't think I would want whole full slices around the pizza. Um, but definitely diced tomatoes, that can definitely work for me. I can definitely work with that. Like if it's like diced onions and peppers and tomatoes and at least one meat like chicken or all that. But yeah, not a big topping for me. And then last, we have anchovies. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's like over time people use it less, or if anyone's even heard of putting anchovies on pizza. And it's one I never try, but it's one I never want to try. So I would never order anchovies for myself. The only thing that makes me think about anchovies is that one old episode of Futurama, where Fry kept on um, talking about how good anchovies were on pizza, like it's the best ingredient. That kind of makes me want to try it. But... Also, I, I don't want to try it. So, <laughs> and just looking at the end result of my tear maker, it's pretty well balanced, uh, but definitely meat heavy and all that. Um, I think the bacon is still a comfort, uh, controversial choice. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. Again, there will be a link for this exact tear maker if you want to play it on with it yourself, whether share it on social media, make a dumb video like I am, or whatever. And yeah, appreciate any feedback, um, like, comment, and subscribe, all that. Um, other fun stuff in the playlist, and I like to organize stuff on that channel too. So check those out if you're inclined to do so. And now I really want some pizza. I'm like hungry now, so I might order pizza. So let me know in the comments what your favorite like ideal pizza is. Because mine is, I'll go for five meats, uh, uh, meat lovers, and usually it has like pepperoni, sausage, bacon. I think that might have ham and maybe like beef in italian i'm not quite sure i have to look that up but if it's heavy on the meats it's uh heavy in my stomach <laughs> if that makes sense but anyways thanks for tuning in and i hope you all have a good rest of your day get yourself a slice of pizza and uh be well bye